Oh, you're on the tree. You know how it looks like on the tree? I look like around here. Around here. No, no, no. It is not in the season, but then you don't see the fruit. You don't see the fruit. The cashew nut basically at the the, the nut is hanging at underneath the the fruit. Australia. What, 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 what is it? Duck. Yeah. What is it? Duck. Yeah, duck. Duck. Yeah, duck. Yeah, but it's picnic goods. But it looks like a duck. Picnic goods. And fly very far from the cold area. Come to Thailand and go to Australia in, in the migratory season. The forest have many, many of the banyan trees. The bird can uh, circulate it. And we have two types. Okay. Now, the first question. I want to ask about the original of the, the big plant forest. How they can develop it. The question is how the fish in the swamp forest adapt themselves to live in the high acidity environment. We will give the right yeah, answer sure to us. So we will give, we will make an announcement after the breakfast. We will have the picnic breakfast on the beach. Nice weather today. It's a short session. After this, you have to do the full session. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We were very lucky with the weather as well. Looking the last few days, it's an on, off, on, off. Uh, but thank you very much for joining this morning activity. I hope you had a lot of fun, you enjoyed it. And uh, we're rounding up this event. Uh, but at the end, we also want to look into what are, have been the questions, and I'm sure you're curious what are the right answers. Good. Let's see the level. The winner. It was very nice to uh, to have a look around the surroundings and um, yeah learn about the the nature and the environment here around uh, Phuket. It was very interesting. And we saw before the lake and we were very surprised and surprising what this might be. And then uh, we got the question to join this uh, bicycle tour and they told us that it will be around the lake and I said very happy because we wanted to see it at all. I was um, really surprised about the um, special treatments we explored. It was so much fun. You know, we have been close to the nature, um, in the surrounding of this wonderful resort. It was great and they had like so many unexpected surprises. It's beyond. Thank you very much Renaissance. I had a great time. I ran around the lake, I thought it was a man-made lake, it's not a man-made lake, it's a thousand years old, it's a peat swamp, we see herons, we see fighting fish, we really, really know. And you know, I come here four times a year, I stay here months on end, and I didn't even know it was a natural lake, so now I know, I have discovered. I think the overall feedback I got, and my own impression as well, was very positive. Uh, it, we really achieved our mission uh, to help the guests to discover something new. I think everybody of us who joined this event learned something new and how beautiful and how unique basically this natural environment is. Um, well, the Global Day of Discovery, as I said to the introduction as well to our guests, is really a worldwide event. Um, this year we decided to make a ride of discovery because under the top line of our hotel, the chic side of nature, it's a good combination really to show them what beautiful and how unique this nature really is around. And it's not only the flora, it's also the fauna. And everything is nice, everything is green, um, but to get really from an expert the insight, uh, what the nature is and all about, 
and what this kind of nature can really give them, uh, the humans back and what its purpose is for, that is really great to understand a little bit more.